We're here at East Jackson County Comprehensive High School, and I have Jose here. He's a junior, and we are in the room where uh, Ms. Denise Backus often leads some uh, advisement for our students. Do you mind telling us a little bit about what that experience entails? Um, Ms. Backus really tries really hard to give us opportunities and programs that we can achieve to like outlook our future, and um, some of those programs are like fast like job applications. Um, Upward bound, scholarships, all sorts of things. So it extends beyond just uh, which courses you need to take while you're yes. here at East High. It's, it's, it sounds like what she's doing is providing you opportunities to prepare you to be successful beyond the classroom walls here at East High. Is that, is that a fair statement? Yes, very fair statement. And, and I understand that, that uh, while she is kind of the, the teacher leader of this, it's really the students that play a, a key leadership role in supporting one another. Is, is that Does that take place on a, a regular basis like it is behind us today? Yes, and she really tries to group us together, try to like benefit ourselves in the future. Well, wonderful. Do you mind if we go take a closer look at what's happening? Um, don't mind at all. Let's go check it out. So one of the topics addressed in advisement was FAFSA. Um, FAFSA, as you know, is federal student aid. Um, it's kind of hard to sign up. Um, we actually, as an advisement group, are teaching people how to sign up for their FAFSA ID. Um, we're holding sessions. Um, I think we have like two planned for October. And students can come and sign up. And we are actually walking them through the process with a representative from UGA teaching us how to actually sign up. Um, we will be able to walk these kids through the process. Okay, one of our main focuses in advisement has been scholarships, and um, we have been linked to uh, other websites such as CapEx and Unico. So what these websites do is they match students with college scholarships that they would be eligible for, and I think CapEx also tells you like how uh, what percent chance you have of getting the scholarship, which, I mean, it's, it's pretty good to know because it takes a lot of time to apply for scholarships and stuff. But um, CapEx also has a autofill application thing where like if you fill out your profile, you can autofill applications for college, which is pretty great. And um, we are spreading awareness about these through text. We send out text reminds to juniors and seniors to let them know about good websites and good opportunities and deadlines for applications when they open and stuff like that. A lot of people have been wondering what Upward Bound is. So Upward Bound is a federally funded program that is now being offered at East Jackson Comprehensive High School. And anyone can um, apply for it, so go for it. Um, what are some requirements needed for Upward Bound? Um, some of the requirements needed would be your parents' tax form and an essay, two recommendation letters from your math teacher and language arts teacher, and a recommendation from your counselor. What are some of the things that Upper Bound provides? Um, Upper Bound provides actually have an after school tutoring program where they help you with any subjects that you're weak in. We um, also are going to start traveling. This year they are playing a off train, hop off to Ivy League colleges and also go to Texas. So it's just a whole lot of fun. Um, what kind of benefits does Upward Bound provide? Upward Bound has many benefits. It, uh, one of the main ones is after you are enrolled in your first year, they still are after you like for six years. So they keep up with you on how you're doing, what's going on, what, cal what classes you're taking, what's your plan after you take your main courses, what you want to do. So they just stay on you, they focus on you. And it's something that you really need to like have not just to focus in school, but also guide you. It's a really good program. So my name's Bacchus, and um, this year I've been given an opportunity by Mr. Dixon to kind of help fill in gaps between what students hear uh, when it comes to opportunities for transitioning out of high school and what the counselors are telling them. Um, the counselors have a tremendous uh, weight on their shoulders. Uh, they've even inherited more students this year. So I've always wanted to fill in the gap and make sure that I'm connecting the fact that kids are feeling as though they're not hearing it. And so my thing is to bombard the system. And so we have a remind account that kids have talked about. 
Um, and that's not just about going to college. It's also about going to a two-year technical college or joining the military or as a ninth or tenth grader, that's when you need to start thinking about going to someplace like UGA. Um, and so I've been given this time to be able to promote the important parts of why we even go to school, and that is to get out and have better opportunity. And so I'm pretty thankful for it. I've got a good group of students that will help me with that. As you can see, there truly are some amazing things taking place here at East Jackson County Comprehensive High School. We'll see you on our next stop on our tour of remarkability throughout Jackson County Schools. Thank you.